Hey guys, Chris here, aka Warchild V1, and we are back with some jalopy. You're wondering what a jalopy is? Well, here in the wiki, it says it's an old dilap a car in old dilapidated condition. So that's basically what this game is about. You're supposed to be traveling from, I think, southeast Germany up to Turkey in this car. And uh, it's a procedurally generated game, and you're just supposed to see how far you can make it. Uh, I've only played it for maybe an hour, so I kind of understand the, the do's and don'ts just slightly, and that's about it. Um, other than that, we're about to play it and see how it goes. So, uh, yeah. Let's kick it off. Wake up! Wake up! Yes, yes. Awake, finally. Um, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Come now, I have something important to show you. All right, Uncle. Come, come, it's just outside. Yes, Uncle, yes, Uncle. That jacket, though, look at that. It's got the, the crazy moving textures. More like the textures stay in one place. You got that jacket from outer space. That's scary. Here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Zero to 60 kilometers in 22 and a half seconds at top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. All at an economical rate of nine kilometers per liter. There is nothing economical about that, but okay. And that's like the slowest car I've ever heard of. But yeah, cool. That is fine, if we can get her running. Not to worry, I've everything ready. We just need to build her engine, slap on some wheels, and fit a passenger side door and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door, it's on top of that scrap pile behind you. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Uh -huh. So it's like a daisy squint kind of thing, I like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have played about an hour of this game. I got the gist of it. I kind of sort of get the idea. And it's actually really cool. Bam! Less elegant, but it's on. Right, now let's fit the engine. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that, and that will release the bonnet. Can you see it? The black latch should be just under the steering wheel. Yeah, right there. That's it, you got it. Okay, now open the bonnet and I can walk you through this. So as you see, she needs an engine. <laughs> yeah, she needs a lot of things, Uncle. I've got a load of stock parts sat in the garage. Go collect and, and I'll walk you through what it does. Sir, yes sir. So here's the engine. It's a small two-stroke engine with two cylinders. Comes as standard to all like a 601 Deluxe cars. <laughs> The parts are in the garage. Collect. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. So this game actually lets you carry three parts at a time, as you see. And you can juggle between the three of them. So that's pretty cool. That's better than one part at a time. That's the engine block you've got there, the core of your Leica setup. The engine block defines the performance of your Leica, including the top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine will mean that your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it in there. All right, that, that's the easiest engine install I've ever done. Okay, you're holding the air, air filter, a non-essential component. The air filter isn't necessary or required to run your Leica, but it is a good idea to have it as it will reduce the wear of your engine block. Yeah, I bet. I uh, bet. The big lump of metal is the fuel tank, which holds the fuel for your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you need to open the bonnet and fill directly in the tank when refueling. Also, your Leica is running a two-stroke engine, which means you'll need to mix some oil in the fuel mixture. Failure to mix the oil, will, the engine won't be lubricated, and the wear rate will increase. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see a performance drop. Keep your fuel tank well maintained. Let it get too beaten up and it'll start leaking fuel everywhere. Go ahead, drop it in there. All right. 
Man, so this is a two-stroke, two-cylinder. You could only imagine all of the horsepower this thing has. You know, you could probably barely even keep the wheels on it. It peels out so much. Right, that's the carburetor, which controls the fuel consumption of your car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you will get out of your Leica. A good, well-maintained carburetor will mean you'll use less fuel and can arrive and drive further for cheaper. Go ahead, drop it in. All right, that's the water tank, which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean and blah 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 clean from dirt. Keep it in good condition, or it'll start to leak water, and soon you'll find yourself driving without any vision. Go ahead, drop it in. There we go. That little thing is the ignition coil. It channels an electrical charge to start the engine. An ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Go ahead, drop it in. All right. Oh yeah, more stuff. Let's get the battery and throw it in there and then we will be all gravy train. Well, I guess it needs tires, but that's the battery which provides the electrical charge for your Leica. The battery allows you to use the lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. If your Leica won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead, drop it in. There we go. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Now let's fill her up. We're not getting anywhere without fuel. There should be a can of fuel, a bottle of water, and a bottle of two-stroke oil. Alright, gotcha. Let's get it. Yeah, it is really nice being able to carry multiple things. You can switch between them. Uh, it's nice. Good, that thing is a can of fuel you're holding there, yeah? You think? Let's just top it off, he says. Yeah, it needed it. We had 2 out of 10, and we got 10 out of 10, but there's no oil in there. Go ahead and drop it if you're done. You've got a bottle of water. Good job. Let's fill up the water tank. There we go. That's just for cleaning the windshield. It's not a water-cooled engine. That's a bottle of two-stroke oil you've got in your hands. You want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture will result in a faster car with increased wear. A rich mixture will do the opposite. Try using it. Top it off. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and drop that if you're done. Well, I wanted to put a little more because it still said lean, but yes, sir. Excellent. Okay, let's get some tires on the car. As you can see, we won't get very far without any wheels. There's a jack in the garage. Bring it over and we can get started. Yes, uncle. I swear, he just wants to stand and tell me what to do. I guess that's what old people like to do, right? Okay, place the jack under the car. Now just twist the handle. Yeah, I mean, I get the gist of it, Uncle. You notice you can now use the tire iron, but first we need to put the road tires on. Go ahead. Go ahead and drop that. Okay, that wasn't the tire iron, that was the tires, but yeah, gotcha. Go ahead and fit the road tire to the axle. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so we need to tighten it with one lug nut because that's the safest vehicle ever. You only need one nut, you know. If you had four, that would just be too dangerous. Alright, let's go get the other two, I guess. Are you happy, Uncle? I did it. Alright, now let's do the other side, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. He's not telling me what to do. I had this problem once before. Let me take off this tire and put it back. I swear, you can only do one at a time at first. Alright. He's not telling me. Alright, I have had him glitch out before. In which case, I had to completely build the car from scratch again, so... Hopefully, hopefully he won't glitch out. Like, I had finished, I had loaded up my trunk, and I was ready to go, and... And he wasn't ready. He was still waiting on me to put tires on that I had already done. So this game is in alpha stage, but I love that it's procedurally generated, so every time you play it, it will be different than the last. It's all about hustling and bustling, making your way through... the countryside with this car that's gonna run like crap, and... 
give you all sorts of problems. Okay, now let's see how she runs. Well, let me take the jack off. Slow down, Grandpa. You may want to load what you want in the trunk. All right, yes, sir. So, uh, yeah. We can put all of this useful stuff in the trunk and take it with us. This is something that I wish my summer car had. I wish you could carry more than one item. Uh, let's see. There's nothing else here. I did notice last time that right here is an order manual where you can order storage. I can order uh, like a roof rack, I guess, right here. But the problem is, if I do it, I won't have money. So we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna be doing that right now. All I have is a hundred bucks, and we need this hundred bucks to buy fuel once we get somewhere and all that fun stuff. All right. Okay. Before we get started, here's the maintenance manual. Check it out. In there, you'll find information regarding the basic overview of the Leica vehicle. Details of your current engine setup, listings of the cargo you're currently carrying, and that sort of thing. And we can turn the pages by clicking on the corner. We'll look through it later. Go ahead and drop it. Alright. Oh, I did. There. Now you'll need the map. This one is important as it allows you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. As you can see, our first destination is CSFR border, crossing near Dresden. I've marked the potential routes uh, as I know of, including the weather conditions and any stop-off points along the route. Go ahead and select one now. I say the Sunny with the gas station. I mean, right? It's, it's a longer drive, but we get to stop and get gas and fill up our gas tank in the back and all that stuff and besides sunny sounds good all right uh hello game oh once a route has been selected we're committed to driving it and again you can turn the pages by selecting the top corner and track statistics you know, top speed and all that kind of mess. You can have a look through it later. Go ahead and close it for now. And finally, the keys. Grandpa, you know I've never driven. I mean, uncle, whatever. Old man, you know I've never driven a car. If you just pop it into the ignition, she's all yours. If you say so, uncle. Oh, yeah. Sounds just like my lawnmower. Is that it? We going now? We off? We are off in this beast. Oh my god, it's so fast. And so begins our journey. Oh, I could barely keep it on the road, it's so fast. Head towards Dresden. We'll be traveling the Autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get the grips of your Leica. Oh man, I could... I could barely keep the tires on the road. I'm, I'm surprised we have any traction left after how fast we're going. Uh, mirror's not even aimed right. No, I don't want to look at Uncle. There we go. I can see the road behind me now. Much better. Alright. Driving through the tunnel. I'm not staying in my lane. Because I don't know how to drive with WS8 and D. Hey, Uncle. I'm going to watch you. Hey, you got a booger in your nose, sir. You need to check that. I'm going to hit something by messing around like this. I need to watch what I'm doing in this beast. It's just too fast. I can barely even see everything. It's just a blur. Wah! All right. I'm going to end up going off the road if I keep messing around. <laughs> so, while we're on this journey, like I said, it's a procedurally generated map. Oh, roundabout. Procedurally generated map. You will find stuff along the road, like, uh, hold on, let's do a full loop around it, just in case. Just in case there's a box or something. You'll find boxes and stuff on the road, and you actually want to stop for those, because it's contraband that you can sell. You can make some money. People are, like, ditching their contraband on the side of the road, and you can pick it up and go sell it to different stores and people like that to try to make some money, because that's literally your only form of money. You're just driving this jalopy around town, and, uh... You got your awesome uncle with the crazy looking jacket with you and you just gotta survive and thrive, hustle and bustle, try to make amends. I don't know, that's all I got to say I guess. 
But yeah, this is... I mean, I am flooring it. We are hauling ass. That is what we are doing. This is like... What are you going to do with yourself when you're going this fast? You can't even see. Don't blink. You might hit something. You know, it's a curious feeling. Being on the road again after such long time. All those years in the GDR. So yeah, they just got done tearing down the Berlin Wall. And that's what this is about. Now we're able to finally travel our uncle to home, I guess, in Turkey. Oh no, not a hill. Not a hill. I'm flooring it. Oh yeah, made it over the hill. Wish it was a manual. I would have put it down in first and just climb. Oh, that's, I'm sure it was in first. Never mind. This car is just so fast. You never know what it's going to do. I mean, it's so squirrely. Oh, my God. We're going to fly off the road if I uh, if I touch the gas again. No, I'm still flooring it, actually. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not another car. Hey, buddy. So one time I pulled over and parked right here somewhere, you know, along the side of the road. And, uh, oh, I just saw smoke. And uh, someone slammed into the back of the car. I thought they were going to kill me. I barely moved out of the way. I don't know if it can kill you. I don't know, you know. All right. I know I wasn't born there, but I found a belonging. I've not experienced at all any other time in my life. Being one of the people like a family all working together. Where I'm from, that was uncommon. That's good. It's always nice uh, feeling like you belong somewhere. Alright. Well, we're just cruising along. Going about 30 kilometers an hour. My god. If we, like, push it down a hill, I bet it'll go faster. Alright. What is this? Tanks a lyle. 10 miles. That must be a gas station. Yes! We can get a petrol station if we turn off here. Yes. Even though I've yet to find any loot. No boxes, nothing to sell. Like, that kind of sucks. I've only done this once, you know, gone this far. And I, uh, I found like a box or two and was able to sell some stuff and make a little bit of money when I got here, which was nice. And I found, don't park too close to that petrol pump there. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut her off. Be a good idea to stop for fuel, yeah. Um, yeah, I learned if you park... Uh, if you park too close, then you can't walk right here in between the car and the and the pump, and that sucks. Alright, gotta pop the hood. Gotta pop the hood. And uh, you can get this sponge right here and clean the windows, see? Oh, yeah. You gotta, like, dunk it in water. Let's clean that windshield all up. Oh, yeah, it's a beaut. Look at all that dirt. Oh yeah, no more dirt, no more dirt. And if the tires get too dirty, you, you just, you clean them too, but that's actually fairly clean. Uh, there we go, it's all, it's a clean car. That just kind of teleports back. Let's get some uh, petrol going in here, in this beast of a car. So I was seeing a little bit of smoke, but it's nothing to worry about, because everything is at two of three or three of three condition. That's great. That's what we want. It was a lean mixture the whole time. Now there's no oil mix. Which just means we gotta put some oil in it. Why is that closing? I guess it's getting late. They're about to close for the night. That's alright. We'll be okay. Alright, let's 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 fill that up. As we will need it. Alright, we did it. Now we can't forget to go ahead and put oil in our fuel tank up here. I would rather it run a little bit rich, if anything. Alright, we got the optimal mix. We'll just leave it at that. I mean, right, sounds good. So that's as good as she gets. Let's go see what we got going in here. One cool thing is if you have a bunch of stuff in your car, you can grab these baskets. And you can hold multiple items per basket and then carry three baskets if you need to carry a bunch of stuff to come in here and sell. Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick up whatever you need from the shelves and place it through the window. When you have everything you need, you can buy by 
using your wallet. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how it works. I um, think we're going to need more oil. No one needs sausages. This is not that kind of game. We don't need to eat and drink. Who do you think I am? Oh, we need the crowbar. Very important for opening uh, wooden crates, I found. Wooden crates can contain stuff like wine or cigarettes or whatever, which you can go sell for money. So I'm just going to buy oil and a crowbar. That's probably good enough. We can pull this lever to cancel the transaction. That's 47 Deutschmarks. I don't know what we're paying in. Maybe it's pounds. Maybe it's... Who knows? Either way. Here, let's roll down Uncle's window. Then I can reach my wallet through the door without having to open the door every time. Because uh, it just hangs out right there. The funny thing is, I wish there was a button to like pull out your wallet. That would be nice. Give me a button for that. There we go. If there was a button to pull out our wallet, then we wouldn't have to go to the car every damn time. You know, I went into a Leica store that sells parts, and I went through the catalog, and then what do you know, my wallet disappeared and showed back up in the car. Watch, it just teleports. Yoink! It just teleports back to the car. So I got more oil. I think we were probably out anyways. Yeah, yeah, that jug's empty. There you go, we're just gonna litter right here. Don't mind me. So we got a full tank of fuel. Um, I kind of would have liked to run a repair kit, but we, we didn't. We don't have money. Last time by, by here I had money. We're not going to worry about it then. Not yet. Oh yeah, get that awesome, awesome two-stroke running. Oh yeah, this lawnmower has some power. In fact, my lawnmower might be a little bit faster, but we're not going to worry about that. Ah, damn it. There we go. Three point turn. It was more like a five point turn. Oh shit, we're trying to go to Dresden, right? I think. Dresden's this way. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am. Oh, we're flying now. Yeah! On the highway. Yes! Yeah, you're jealous, aren't you? Your old escort. Well, with the wall down, it shouldn't be long till we see reunification. A literal separation of people for what's been 29 years? Yes, 29 years. Oh my, how much have people have changed? Yeah, I bet. There's the moon. Oh, there goes the smoke. We're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about it because I think about half the time you play this game, you're gonna have smoke. So no worries. Don't worry about me. That poof was just dirt in the road. I can't believe that we haven't found even one crate. Not even one. You know, there's a good chance I've passed by some and I'm just blind because I am reading now and I wasn't reading before. I was just playing. <laughs> I was ignoring the story, but I figure. For you guys to make it interesting, maybe you want to hear some of that, right? Poof! That might be bad for my tires, I don't know. It's just dirt though, right? Um, there's, there's, there becomes like potholes in the road. You gotta watch out for those. Here, I'll, I'll skip the dirt. We don't think the division would ever escalate to what it did. But it did, practically overnight. I'm trying to turn on my lights here. There we go. Nice flickering lights. There you go. Beautiful. Oh no, it's uphill. Ah, oh, You got this car. Let me go suck some oil out of the mixture just so we can go faster. I'm gonna roll my damn window down. It's getting dirty. No one likes a dirty window. I'd rather it just not be there. Too bad I can't just punch out the windshield whenever it gets dirty. But that's alright, I can spray it with wiper fluid somehow. I've never done that, but... It's a thing, you know? It's a thing. I mean, I see the wiper here. I've driven in the rain and turned on the wipers, but I haven't tried to spray or anything. Alright. It may be coming up. 
still not one package nothing nothing to show for this drive how are we gonna keep our jalopy going one thing it taught me nothing good from involving yourself in in political opposition life becomes much more bearable when you accept the flow of things I've seen too many become pawns of extremist ideals I swear when I'm reading I'm probably passing packages every time oh downhill floor it floor it uh, someone's honking dude that's as fast as I can go you wanna shut up back there here have some dirt Oh, that literally just put dirt on the windshield. I get it now. You run over dirt piles, it puts dirt on the windshield. Gotcha. Here, I'll get out of your way. Go. I mean, you could have just gone around me or something, but... I'll say one thing about re reunification talk. You'll never see people living in union like we had in the East. Oh, unison. Dude! Why were you honking at me? If you're not even going to go around. Damn it. The Western way is very self-absorbed. Ambition is a temptation. A poison. Don't forget that, especially with the world opening up to you now. Yeah, I never even drove a car before today. Yeah, that's definitely not spraying. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. God, this thing is slow. I don't. I don't blame him for honking. I'll honk back. Just a long, slow drive. Ooh, hold on. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna leave our car idling for the moment. Uh, you gotta pull the e-brake. I found that. It seems that if you leave the car idling, you don't have to, you don't waste gas that way. Ooh, and a box, two boxes. All right, here we go. Sometimes you find better car parts in these cars than what you have, and uh, that's what you want. All right, so we got a wooden crate. Don't, don't, don't kill me. We got a wooden crate. That's why I bought the uh, crowbar, and then we got a cardboard box. Let's just drop them both. Let's see what we got in box number one textiles you don't seem to make much of anything off of textiles you can sell them but and we will as long as we got the room and we got to open this up that's what the crowbar was for coffee beans all right it's something right um, let's see we only got one coffee bean for real two textiles and a coffee bean all right, so it automatically piles them in in any fashion that they fit, really. Um, yeah, like I said, if the car idles, it doesn't feel like it wastes any gas. I've gone and uh, checked it all out. Two-stroke oil, we'll take it. For real. How many people are driving these Leicas? Not one part. Well, that's too damn bad. It's all right, though. That's all right. At least we found something. There we go. We got more oil. That's good. You always need that. Just double checking things here. Nothing. But yeah, there's all sorts of upgraded uh, parts that you can buy and stuff. Sounded like someone almost got in a wreck just now. We're not going to mind them. What we're going to do is uh, try not to smoke up a storm here. Alright, here we go. On the road again. In our beautiful Leica. Oh man, making all the other drivers jealous. See, I swear, it burns zero gas being parked and idling. It definitely does burn gas when you shut the car off and then uh, start it again. You can actually see the, the fuel gauge go down. So I leave it idling anytime I can. 
except for like at a, at a fuel station or if you're working on it I'd imagine something will go wrong if it's running then I don't know haven't tried it but I don't plan on trying it oh yeah second gear dude he don't know how to drive in a roundabout all right I like roundabouts they're way better than four-way stops that's for sure we got a, a few of them around here and they're lovely anyways there's Dresden ahead let's head to the motel we'll have to cross the border tomorrow um I don't think I have anything illegal we can uh, walk down to the border and go see what's illegal and what's legal because if we found out like coffee beans are illegal I don't know why that would be I don't even know if that's a thing but you know sometimes you have alcohol or cigarettes or, or something and and that's illegal they fine you for trying to bring it um, these towns are also procedural I've noticed the motels not always in the same place neither are the stores in fact there's a fuel station right there all right the motels right there park out front I park however I want okay good let's check in you definitely want to kill the lights this thing does have a battery that matters let's go ahead and grab our uh, wallet you, you okay uncle yeah that's the car you're glitching out on it yes yes the doors over here uncle cool all right well don't mind him Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? Yeah. It's 20 for the room. That's why I brought my wallet. Cha-ching. Room 2A on the second floor. Uh, let's just put away the wallet by teleport teleportation. We kindly ask you to not disturb the other guests during your stay. Yeah, yeah. Can you come let me into the room? All right, uncle. I was trying to teleport my wallet back. Shit. Room 2A. Now she says don't disturb the other guests, but what I found on accident, if you go knocking on doors, some people think that you work here and will give you more money. They'll be like, I want another night, and then give you money. It's like, cha-ching. I've had it pay for my uh, hotel before. Oh, that's our room. Get out of here. Sorry. Look at that! Don't come in, I'll slide the money under the door. See? See, we just got our money back for our stay. 2A, this is us right here. I think Uncle is glitched out. Oh, the hotels don't always look the same either, now I know that. I've only been to one hotel, like I said, I've played the game for a little bit, just barely. I don't think anything's ever in these, but you can open them, so. Yeah, this hotel's bigger than the last one. Um, either way, I'm not going to sleep yet. I'm going to roam the city before sleeping. Uh, sometimes you can find a store and go make some money real quick. Hi again. Yep, hi. How come my uncle's... Uncle. Uncle. Yeah, that's creepy. Don't do that. All right, here. What if I move the Leica slightly? I left the keys in it anyways. Bye, Uncle. I'll see you in a week. Man, this Leica needs some repairs, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. He's not glitched anymore. All right, so we did have some items, right? Not much, but we got textiles and coffee. All right, um, luckily the store's right here, which makes it way easier. And they are 24 hour, so that's good. The outer shop. Let's grab a couple crates just in case we need two. I think one will probably do the job, but it is nice that you can fill these baskets and carry a lot more. Alright, so... Textiles. In fact, I don't need two bottles of two-stroke. 
will. Uh, I really don't. All right, you can only carry three things at a time. But like I said, you fill baskets, then you can carry up to three baskets. That looks like everything. It all fit in the first one. Let's pick that up and put it back. There we go. Now it's all set nice and neat. All right, let's carry this basket with us. Go sell all of this and see what we get. That I mean, one jug of oil ought to last us a long time. Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you want off the shelves and place it through this window. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. Yep. I wonder if I could have put my wallet in this basket. I'm afraid we're not buying that. Oh yeah, they don't they won't buy the basket. I didn't even mean to. There. So you can buy tires at 20 a piece. I don't have that kind of money. Um We definitely need an engine repair kit, right? I think my tires are probably fine. I don't know. I'm not a pro. There's that. So we actually still owe money. Wow. Wow, we need to find some better stuff on the side of the road. Got to go back out to the like. Will you let me... Can... Oh, shit. Uh, I've never had this happen. Please return all unpaid goods. I don't have anything. My money's in the car. I have not ran into the situation yet. It was totally open when we came. Dude. Where's my car? Um, my wallet's in the car? I couldn't carry it. Also, my hands were full. Do I have to like cancel the sale? All right, I'll be back. Let me get my wallet, and then we're gonna have some, some. Look at that! They were locking me in. All right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, it makes sense. You can't steal stuff. I just, I'm not parked in there, you know. All right, got the wallet. Let's go try to do this again. I can only pick up two things at a time since I'm carrying a damn wallet, but that's okay. You know, I'm learning. I'm learning. We'll see how it goes. Let's uh, go ahead and sell these back. Just throw my shit all over the floor, why don't you? Because I didn't want any of this. Actually, I didn't. I was, I was selling it all, wasn't I? You owe me five dollars. That's not enough. I need more money. I feel like I got gypped. Was that all I had? We're about to find out, aren't we? If this comes up to eight bucks, then we're not gypped. Nine bucks, whatever. That was close. All right, all right. Teleport the money back. Yeah, I have a feeling that we need to repair that engine. There, there's a little bit of smoke coming out. And uh, in the morning, we'll come fill up our tank again. But, uh, yeah. This is how Jalopy works. We're seriously just trying to make our way around town. Uh, ac around town, shit. We're trying to make it cross country to see how far we can make it. I, I don't know what actually could kill you or anything yet. All right, so we need to fix the carburetor. One click does one durability. Oh good, the fuel tank's good. All right, that was... All right, the ignition coil's still good. The only thing that's bad now is the air filter. But like he said, it can run without it, right? So, let's just close everything up. I have no idea what just poofed. Something just poofed. We're not going to worry about the poof. Um, there might be a Leica store somewhere around here, but the thing... In fact, there has to be. There always is, I think. But... Not like I have any money. I spent it all. So let's just get out of here. Hey there. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing I left the door open because I sure don't remember where we slept or where we stayed. 
There we go. Oh, have you been wondering what's in Uncle's briefcase? Let's take a look. Right now it's 1990. This is from 89, it says. In response to your request for the acquisition for one Leica 601 motor vehicle for the purposes of transportation of personal property to be returned to their country of origin placed on the date of blah, 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 86, we can now inform you that we are unable to approve your support or support this request on the grounds that the government vehicles are not to be used in transportation of private property, especially to countries outside of something societist observation. Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communications with countries outside of the state sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored. And as such, we ask all comrades to exercise constant vigilance with regard to any delicate information that they would find themselves in the possession of. Wrong button. Sounds like uncle's hopping the border. But hey, who am I to judge? Let's go ahead and sleep. Day one, Dresden. All right, we slept for the night. Uncle's out there, probably in the car, waiting on us. Um, yeah. So that's about how this game goes from day to day to day. Different crap will happen. The car will break. We will be in trouble. I don't know what what worst thing is. You know, you can actually push the car if it's out of uh, fuel or whatever if it's broke. But that's probably a big deal. I don't know. I've never done it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know. Do you want more of it? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. And uh, stick around. I can make a lot more of this as long as you like it. And we will see you guys on the next video. So thanks for watching.